Okay, good morning. Uh, let me also start by congratulating every single student who is here um, for uh, you know making it. Uh, I want to congratulate you on two fronts. First, of course, for uh, you know clearing this horrible exam called the JE. Uh, you know you've prepared for it for a long, long time. We are aware of it, um, and you have made it. So uh, you all deserve again a big round of applause uh, for yourself. Um, second, like Harish said, you know, I want to congratulate, and this is more important, for making the absolute right decision in choosing IIT Gandhinagar as the place that you will study for the next four years. Uh, some of you may be disheartened that you, uh, you know, wanted to be at some other IIT but are forced to come here. Uh, but let me assure you that by the end, uh, of the foundation program, which is the next five weeks, uh, your perception will change. Uh, this is a challenge that we give every year to our colleagues who uh, coordinate the foundation program, to the students who help out, that uh, by the end of the five weeks, every single student should say that I am glad that I am here and not at other IITs. Um, so we will, we will guarantee that that happens. So, uh, so you are in perhaps for the most exciting, you know, enriching um, and most eventful four years of your life here. Um, <clears throat> congratulations also to all the parents for all the hard work that you have put in. I can imagine that you've made a lot of sacrifices uh, over the time that your child has prepared for the JE. Uh, you know, we have interacted with hundreds of parents since the JE advanced results have come out. We had an open house here. Some of you may have been uh, here at that time. We had open houses in Delhi, in Bombay. Uh, and we could sense the anxiety that exists on the parents' faces in their minds about their child's future. We understand it. Uh, but I assume that now there is a sense of relief uh, and also satisfaction that your child will be in a good institution um, in IIT Gandhinagar. So uh, again, congratulations to all of you as well. Uh, I also want to thank Akash and Jammu and Arpita for agreeing to uh, speak to you all, to tell you their stories, uh, and perhaps inspire you a little bit, right? It helps to hear from the students directly. And, and this is an interesting mix of students we have here. Akash is an alumnus. Um, I guess he was the first... Uh, he was the first to go through the foundation program, that batch, I think 2011. He graduated in 2015. Um, he was the student general secretary while he was here, did a lot of volunteering work, um, tried his hand at entrepreneurship, and is now in some hotshot position at some multinational company and travels all around the world. Um, so, uh, Jammu is graduating this year. Uh, he uh, is graduating from our material science program. He uh, has been a beneficiary of our interdisciplinary culture that we have doubled down on at this institute. Uh, he was abroad uh, doing biomaterials research in a foreign lab uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, and, you know, he was on our athletics team, and it, I think it will be good to hear uh, him out. Um, and Arpita is, is very fresh. She has just finished her first year, so exactly one year ago she was sitting here, um, okay, amongst you guys uh, in this auditorium. Uh, again, anxious somewhat, uh, but now she's here, uh, and we are glad that she will tell you about her experiences in the first year. Um, and she actually has also been a beneficiary of our liberal branch change rules. Uh, she has been able to transfer from mechanical engineering to electrical engineering this year, so I think that's another uh, good thing. So, so the interesting thing is you'll see this transition of going from a young, fresh student uh, and becoming successful at a very young age and creating a mark, right? So that's why we assembled this group together. Uh, so to the students, you know, I'm quite excited about the diversity of your batch. 17% uh, of uh, the students, about 210 of you who will join, uh, are, are female. Uh, historically, this has been a terrible situation for the IITs. You know, we've been in single digits, uh, always 7%, 8%, and since the past couple of years, uh, the government has made a conscious effort to increase the number of uh, women students who join the IITs. Uh, last year, it was about 15%. This year, it's 17 uh, Next year, it'll go up to 20 uh, And that is a good thing. That is definitely a good thing. And, you know, congratulations, especially to all the, the female students who will join us. Um, 
I'm also excited that there are 20 states of the country that are represented amongst the students who will join today. We just looked at this data quickly, and uh, you know, we are again proud of this diversity. If you, if you actually look at our student body, if you combine the graduate students with the undergraduate students, you will find that there is a student from every single state of the country uh, here. And what that does, you may not realize it today, but as you move on, you know, during these four years, you'll realize that it creates a nice mix of students, it prevents biases of any kinds, you know, it prevents barriers, it prevents linguistic barriers, it prevents cultural barriers and things like that from creeping in. Uh, because, you know, we want to avoid it, we want to have a nice mix of people uh, from different backgrounds, you know, who, who will study here and who will, uh, you know, essentially be a part of the culture here. So I'm quite pleased by these trends, you know, and, and again, a very warm welcome to, to all of you who are here. Okay, so now that you are here, what happens, right? I mean, you've made a choice, you are here. Uh, what happens? Of course, the first five weeks will begin with the foundation program. Uh, this is IIT Gandhinagar's flagship program. We started it in 2011, and many institutions now have started to, to do this. Uh, you know, IIT Jammu, for instance, I think starts today. They are doing a, a mini version of this. I think three weeks is what they do. And there's many, many other institutions that, that do a foundation program for their first year students. Uh, you'll, of course, you know, get to know the nitty gritties of the foundation program itself you know, in due course. But let me guarantee you that the experiences that you will have while you go through this program will be transformative in many ways. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll have the opportunity to do things that you haven't done for years, uh, things that you may have left behind as you prepared for the JE. Uh, you know, this, the idea is to open up your minds a little bit to make you think beyond your uh, you know, JE framework that you've been operating for a while in, uh, to let you know that there is more to life than just your little physics, chemistry, or maths problem, uh, to open up your minds a little bit, to expand your horizons a little bit, uh, to help you make friendships, okay? to help you make uh, long-lasting, deep bonds with your students, classmates. Right? Uh, and to help you create memories that you will cherish for a lifetime. Right? That's really the goal of this, right? The first five weeks, you know, and if you imagine, you know, five weeks of your entire lifetime is nothing. So if you think that, oh, I'm not getting on with my maths 101, don't worry about it, that will also come, okay? But these five weeks are going to be crucial, okay? They will be, they will be immensely useful for you, not just while you're here, but also beyond, okay? So make, make the most of it. After the foundation program ends, five weeks from now, you will start getting a taste of the academics of the institute. Um, and like Harish said, we have a we have very, very, very liberal education program here. Uh, too much flexibility, too much freedom, because we think that all this is valuable, right? But let me also <coughs> tell you something. You, I want you to realize today, okay, even before you start your academic journey, uh, that as far as academics is concerned, we will be totally blind to who you are, where you come from, whether your parents are rich or poor, you know, what connections you have. All of that stuff will not work from today onwards. Uh, if we expect you to participate wholeheartedly in the foundation program, we, we will ensure that that is done. It doesn't matter who you are, right? It uh, doesn't matter where you come from. The same thing with academics. If you are caught cheating in an exam, we will send you home regardless of who you are. Okay, uh, so we are very, very strict about this. Uh, and again, like Harish said, the reason we are strict is because we want uh, to treat you as, as adults, we want you to be responsible for the decisions you make, and also we will then hold you accountable for the decisions that you make, okay? So uh, no sifarish, no nothing of that sort works, works out here. Uh, but, you know, as you go through the program itself, you'll realize that, you know, there is, again, a lot of opportunities that have been built in, into, the, into the program. And, and it is this liberal approach and this distinct character of the program that enables us to create people like Akash and Jammu, who really are passionate about what they want to do, right? Who are really interested in making a mark quickly, in establishing themselves very quickly, okay? Without that foundational sort of framework of the academic program, I don't think we would have been able to, to create individuals like that. So what really does that mean? It means that, you know, 
there will be a deep integration of the liberal arts with the science and technology education that you get. Uh, I don't know how many of you have read the uh, draft education policy that the government has put out. In fact, there was a set of parents who visited me a couple of days ago. I was showing them this. The draft education policy actually talks about doing this repeatedly. Okay, if you look at their higher education section, they say that why this is critical. Okay, the point I'm trying to make is we realized this a long time ago. Okay, and we have doubled down on this kind of a structure here. So every semester you will have to take a humanities and social sciences course, okay, along with your technical courses. We believe this is important and now, you know, everybody is sort of opening up to the idea that yes, these are important. Um, <clears throat> So there will be a lot of that. Um, second, you know, we've completely broken down the silos within the institute. Today, if you have gotten admission in civil engineering and you want to do a project with a faculty member in computer science, there is absolutely nothing that can get in your way, okay? The academic structure allows it. Um, the freedom that you have allows it. You talk to the faculty member, uh, show your interest. If there is agreement, you do the project or you do the coursework with him or her. Okay? There's absolutely nothing that comes in your way. All right? so, so that's another example of the, the sort of liberal approach that we've taken. Uh, we also have very liberal branch change rules. Uh, some of you asked a lot about this during the open house. Uh, and in fact, when we did this exercise a few days ago for the students who've just finished their first year, people like Arpita, we noticed that we were able to provide a change of branch for 24 out of the 40 students who had applied. Okay, so that's a lot of students who can, you know, again, navigate um, to different disciplines based on their interest. Uh, we also have a provision where you can pursue a second bachelor's degree, okay, by spending an extra year, year here. Okay, so again, some of you may be really passionate about computer science, uh, had a bad day during the JE exam, solved a few problems incorrectly, got a lower rank, and therefore were not able to get computer science, even though that is the branch that you wanted. But here is the opportunity, right? Here, stay an extra year, do the courses that computer science says you should do, and we will give you that extra BTEC in computer science. We'll give you two pieces of paper, okay? One, whatever, civil, mechanical, electrical, and second, computer science. In fact, we have six students right now in that program. All six are pursuing their second BTEC in computer science, okay? So these are, again, opportunities that we think are valuable or important. They give you breadth, okay, of exposure. Um, you can also get a master's degree in a second discipline and things like that, okay, by staying an extra year. So there's, there's a lot of combinations possible, there's a lot of opportunities that, that you all should make, make use of. Uh, and like Harish mentioned, there'll be other extra stuff beyond just the academics. Foreign internships is a big thing, about 40% of our students go abroad, which means 40% of you will go abroad, okay, at some point during, their fo during your four years here. Uh, there's volunteering opportunities, there's opportunities for social engagement. We have a fantastic creative learning center where you can go learn things differently, you can participate, you can, you know, volunteer there to teach school children, uh, you know, maths and science concepts in a fun way, engaging way. There's, there's just endless possibilities, okay? It's up to you to make the best use of them. Uh, but, you know, let me, let me, assure you something, nothing is going to come for free. Uh, again, like Harish said, if you think that you are now in an IIT and your life is set, you are in for a rude shock, you have to earn all of this, okay? What that means is you have to work hard, you have to be committed, you have to be devoted, uh, and only then all of this can happen. Nothing comes on a platter simply because you are at IIT Gandhinagar or, or at, for that matter at any other IIT, okay? So, so be prepared to persevere, be prepared to grind it out, and I'm sure good things will come your way. Okay, so, so all I'm trying to say is, you know, while you soak in all that IIT Gandhinagar has to offer, uh, don't forget that, you know, your broader academic pursuits need to come first, so academics must come first. Okay, uh, so to close, I again will congratulate uh, all of you. Uh, <coughs> I hope that the next four years will be an enriching experience for all of you. And really, we want you to have a good life. We want you to have a fulfilling, enriching life. And I really hope that 
you know, in a couple of years from now or you, after you graduate or whatever, you know, some of you come back and like Jammu and like Akash and like Arpita, uh, address the next batch of students that will come in. Okay, so thank you very much and welcome to IIT Gandhinagar.